what is going on everybody, it is Hobbygash3, welcome back, as, as I should say, to Franbo. Now, this is a game I did play about two years ago, um, quite a long time ago. It was the summer uh, of 2016 when I did this, it was the summer when I first got my computer, well I got my computer in 2015 for Christmas, but it was the first summer I had with my computer. And, yeah, it's... The game was really fun to do, uh, and I loved recording it, but I never finished it because it got long and I never actually finished the game. Well, I finished it on my own time not that long ago, maybe a month or so ago, and I wanted to kind of bring the series back. So, here we are, and I'm going to try and finish it, and um, I apologize if sometimes I have to look up the answers. It's because, like, I kind of want to get through this, and I don't want to spend all my time wasting looking for the answers and whatnot. So, yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna get started as soon as I do my this one thing. Uh, apologies for that. I had to go and um, edit my video to make sure my video software was working good. I managed to fix it because if you notice in my other videos, it looked kind of fuzzy. It looked weird, at least. Oh, it was... okay. Damn it. Okay, I'm. Um, sorry if, like, my thing is dark right now, I have to have my windows closed because it's very bright out, and, uh, yeah, so I'm sorry if my thing is closed right now, so, yeah, anyways. We're just gonna get started. I had to, um, make sure my recording, uh, my editing software was working good, and I managed to make it look good. It was, like, so exciting I had to change. Alright. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. Mom's eyes look weird. They have a present for me. I wonder. I'm just gonna read it like that, I guess, but I'll probably change her voice after. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. Mr. Midnight, my best friend, my old friend. Oh my god, I was right, I forgot that that was the line. We're having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. The car's going through the wall. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. Just to get going out all the milk. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Is that a thing? I hear something. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. Mom, Dad, please don't. I want to take a pic. I'm gonna. Uh, I would. Right. Mommy, Daddy. I was gonna take a screenshot, but I'll just do that later. One of the fun things I liked with this game is that it gave me creativity for the thumbnail. I would create myself as a character, kind of like what a, a lot of other YouTubers did. I don't know if I'm going to do that this time, though. Here's Mr. Midnight. I don't know what kind of voice I want to give him. I don't know if I want to give him, like, the voice Marker Blair did. Like a deep voice like this. Or something like that. That's kind of awkward. Or, like, my own kind of voice that I, I think I gave him. 
please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. I'm going to voice to all these characters. One. Two. And we're in. Three. Fred, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the theme of the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I don't want to go home. You cannot go home, Fred. You have to get well. I have to get out of here. I need my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, Fred. What is it? See the desk. There's a little package for you. Tremont Grace, take it. This is my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. So this is basically where, like, this is where we keep our inventory. This is like a point and click adventure, by the way. Alright, examine. Here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like it. You would like to have it. Oh wait, no, I didn't read this part to your friend. <laughs> when I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. It's in, it's in red, uh, uh, capitals. Wait. <laughs> capitals, no. Yeah, yeah, that is. Forget it. I was gonna say a joke, forget it. So I hope you always keep this purse and give it all the other, all the things you can. You find, I, I can't really read because I have it lined down my computer screen, a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and Grace. She is worried about you. Aunt uh, Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. Can I go to my room for, can I go to my room now? Yes, you can. You, yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called DOT. It'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. I didn't know you could open doors like that. Anything new today, Dr. Dean? Nothing usual. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend. Take your medicine. Alright, and this is, uh... Our drug trip. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel good. Yeah, no drugs. Well, I mean, pills are technically drugs, but. In fact, no drugs are good, except for the ones I take. Well, I mean, I have ADHD, so when you take drugs, I have to take pills to, like, make you calm down. That sounds weird. Okay, forget what I said. Okay, um, we'll just continue. <laughs> and nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Oh, wait, shoot. Is this the monster? God, what am I going to give him? What is his voice? Beware, friend. Oh. Okay, that works. <laughs> if you leave the house of madness... <coughs> I will hunt you down. Catch you. Bless you, by the way. And bring you back to insanity. Friend, wake up. Alright. The medicine will help you escape. That's the voice I'm gonna give Mr. Midnight. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I'm already having fun in this series already. I'm gonna do one chapter each day about each video. There's five of them, but some two of them I think are in two parts. So I'll probably just do both parts in one episode. What was the voice I gave her, damn it? Okay <laughs> already. It's too I'm still here. Hideous place. I think that was your voice, right? Yeah. I 
have to get out of here. This play, this takes pl like place like a long time. Ago. All right, so case I'm not even gonna look at that number. Name Franbo Dagenhart, age 10, gender female. The patient was found near Oz the Oswald side of showing signs of psychosis. The Bo the Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Detail amended treatment. Doctor Mar Marcel, I think that says or Marcel. I'm gonna just say Marcel. Marcel, dear has tried different medications and all have been cancelled due to because of the side effects. Documented July. It, I can't really pronounce that something number. I can't now, but 1944. It's July 1944. Right, so some drawings over here. Red and red and tiny. You are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Man. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would sh show me where he is. Alright, so. So it's like a, a click in a click in adventure. So you can pick up items and you can combine them with other things. Like, I need. Like, again, I've already played this, so I know what I'm supposed to do. Well, most of it, because I played this friggin' chapter. So many times trying to redo this series. You have to make a hook with that. So there's a nurse over here. Yeah, I know pretty much everything about this because I've played it so many times. Oh, oh yeah, there's windows you can look out of as well. Alright, so I need to get the medicine because the medicine let allows me to see into a different world. Oh, friend, you're like good. Don't know why I gave her that voice. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Uh, no. One of these characters I'm gonna have to talk to my voice. Oh no, so many days. I should find my kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. I leave, I'm working. Alright, so now I need to distract her because she has the medicine. And, yeah. Oh no, oh, I forgot something happened. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. Let the fixes follow me. So now I don't know if I can go here. Alright, so I need to make her go away. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that puts the curtains up? Uh, no, miss, I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go find something to fix this stupid little girl. Alright, so now I can go over here and grab some of the stuff from over here. These I'll need later on. There is the medicine. It's a gun. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. How, why would the nurse have that? She wants to kill us all. I really need I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out I don't even want to read what this says because I barely can read that. Violent trauma. Okay, science stuff, yada yada yada. Ew! <laughs> Alright, so now, thank you, use, yeah. Alright, so this is pretty simple to solve. It says literally what the code is, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is just 9, because I is after H. A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. Yeah. Got the pills. So now I can use the pills to go and see into another reality. Like this. Watch your step. Alright, so there's a hand pertinent there for you to notice. Alright, so there's a pin we'll take right here. That will be used later on. Alright, so I'll turn these off for now. So now let's um, Oh yeah, these also appear different. We didn't ever really go over there yet. Who did it? Alright, do these change? I forget if these do. I haven't really checked these this much. Blood. Find him. Oh, there's even something on the devil. Okay, I'm supposed to go down here. Absolutely not. You can't tell her that. 
But she has to know. You can't keep her away from me. What was her freaking voice? The reason is more, is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I, I want to take her home now. I forget. What did I give her that voice? I'm just going to speak in that voice. I, I, I didn't even read that part. What was her voice? I need to go lo look back. I don't even know if well, you guys can even hear me. So, I apologize because this game's audio is kind of loud. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor is not so. I'm going home tonight. Oh, yeah, we can look up here. I think this is like the one where it's, uh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so. We didn't go over here yet, so. To happiness. Alright, oh, yeah, there's a little box under here. So the key is for over here, um. So this is what it really looks like. <laughs> or, you know, this is Phil. I'll speak to it like, hello. I'll probably just speak in my normal voice. Know any way out? There are many ways out. On it. Yes, but you know everything is locked. Indeed. But the office is the key. What do you mean? The office? What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. Secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. <laughs> oh, doors are closed. You are the prisoner of my games. I don't know if that's him talking. And nobody will help you escape. I don't know if that was his foot. I don't know if that was him talking. I'll just speak like that. For any, like, things like that. But, what was his voice? Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. This means, like, this is her thoughts, by the way. If that wasn't obvious enough. Alright, so over here we have the drawer, which required a key to open it. So now, the, we, oh, we combine this with this, we get a key. Which to open this, and I know, like, oh wait, wait, hold on, there's another thing right here we haven't read. Um, what is it? Phil Moore Bromstone, age 8, male. The patient came to Oswald saw with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. I can't really know if that's her real name. The boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia, not yet di diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Deard. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refused to be questioned. Equal, well, I can't, I still cannot see what that number is. If you guys, I'll have to look at it in the recording, so yeah. Alright, so anyways, use this. here already? Yeah, we can. So, oh yeah, this girl right here. This one's a little effed up. This one's a little um, sad. So, Adelia... I can't... I don't even know what that says. Okay, I can't pronounce some of it, so if I can't read stuff properly, I, I apologize. It's not that I can't read. I can read fluently. That's the right word. Um, I just can't. I have a line down my computer screen. I said we're at my mom's house, I have a monitor, which I plug in, but my dad's house, I don't. Okay, so, Adelia, Adelia, I'm just gonna call her Adelia, I'm just gonna call her Adelia, or something. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has cruciated a an auditory hallucination and thought disorder. Treatment doctor Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawings, therapy, she is making progress. Okay. Hello. You see them, don't you? Since she's like seven, I'm gonna give her like maybe a lisp or something. I don't know. See what? The creatures. They follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. 
what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. Do you like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. A crayon. A crayon. I want to, I want to find it. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. Draw a cat, if you don't have one. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. So, now, um, this is what happens. Also, if you saw an air beer, there's a clown in that picture. Now he's in the box. That's not good. But if we come up here... This guy. Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. That's what it said right there. That guy that you just saw, he'll appear more into the story later on. Oh, crap. Huh? There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? <clears throat> Don't try to check me. Go into your room and feel the doctor. <laughs> uh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Did you break out of your room, Fred? It's not nice, Fred. I'm ten years old. Why are you talking to me like that? Was I ten years old? I think it was. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Sir Doctor, just please just don't let me go eat something. I pronounce that so horribly. You have to learn your lesson. Your lesson. Is that what it says? You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, Fred. Go eat now and get back to bed. So there's another thing over here. There's a room you can look into. Some of them we can look into, some of them we can't. And it's King Pills. The King likes trying. Alright, so we'll go down here. And I'm gonna take the pills over so you guys can see what I'm Okay, this is not the meat locker I'm used to. Actually, no, I've never been into one. Alright, so... You can probably... I don't know if you guys can see my mouse or not, but there's a key up here. And that unlocks this room. So we need to find a way to get the key to get out. So we can go through there. Alright, so we'll go into here. So in order to get the key, we need a hook. So I'll take this. So, um, I'll talk to this guy. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper's not working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. But what does the paper do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see. Why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. So, for some reason, you had to have it at a certain channel. Like, this particular channel, I'll show you this. Yeah. 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 And you need this channel for some reason. It works! A miracle, thank you, paper vision positive. Great, can I see? No, this is mine. You can take the papers that didn't work. Oh, thank you. I suppose I can use the paper to write or dry on. I'm busy, paper vision, revision in action. All right, so we need a paper for later. It's like where it says the king likes drawings. That's what it is for. Hello, you all right? What is that supposed to mean? I just wanted to know if you're all, if you feel okay. I don't want 
to tell him. If Axel will cut open your head if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? It's like that freaking thing where, like, it was like, um, for Jack in a Box, where, like, the guy was like, he's like, don't do it, don't do it. Don't eat my face. And, like, you probably all know what that is. It came from me for the FNAF community. Like, people would draw it. And, like, it would be, like, Mango. Yeah, I don't know. Forget it. Forget it. I mentioned it. <laughs> He'll eat yours, too. I saw inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh, no. Then I have to go. I hope you find the next spot. Oh, yeah, we didn't see what it's like. Like this. Teddy bear. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so. Take one of these. Alright, so this is the other part. Oh, oh, oh god, this eating is disgusting. Don't touch my sword! I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I am your king. What? You're not a king. I'm the other king of the whole universe. Bow to me. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of that visit? I want your king, walking cane. You, my what walking cane? Do you mean my sword? I know it's a sword. I know it's a sword, but I just like to say it like that. Yes, your highness, your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness, I'm gonna say in his voice. Name me a castle on that horse, and I'll grant you my sword. Okay, so. Alright, so there's this girl. Hey, honey, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Good that I gave her a list because she was a tooth. Oh, thank you. 
You can have my you can have the crayon now. Now go. I have to draw. So now we need to use the crayon.
That's kind of all about it. Phil? A forgotten girl with no family will die. Does she move automatically? Okay, she does. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Oh, that really, that rat really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. Alright, here we go. Watch out for the hole. I'll just keep going and going. Watch out for the hole in the floor. Look out. Oh no. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Alright, get up. Oh dear. Where am I now? I'll have to find out. I have to find out. Alright, so is there stuff over here we can take? I have no idea. Wait, what's in here? Is there anything in here? Oh! Oh, oh, oh yeah, this is where the pills and stuff are. Yellow pills? They look more fun than red ones. Ugh, bad pills. I'll just take them inside my kitty. I originally gave them. I'll find out. Oh, my dear kitty. We'll soon be, to be together again. I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Will that voice work out for him? I guess, I don't know. That was the voice I gave him. I fainted again. I wonder if my, parent, if my dreams are true. The monsters won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Alright, let's go up here again. It won't fall. Alright. Sir, wake up. He's just in the corner like... <laughs> oh, there's a thing on the wall I just noticed. Oh no, poor girls. I don't think it will soon. It At first, I used to think it said draw it, which would have made sense, but it doesn't. It's just because the T and the I are not. If it was draw... If it was a T word, if it was T word, that would make more sense. Alright. There's a thing over here I didn't read. Patient Robert Clark psych, uh, Psychosurgery Procedure Observation Failed Anesthetic The patient woke up after reaching a frontal lobe. The procedure was cancelled and incomplete. Oh god. So that means this person, literally, I'm pretty sure this means this person, when they're having surgery on his brain, he woke up during it. And so, you can imagine how painful that must have been. Oh wait, was this the guy that they're talking about? Because if you take the pills, it's half his brain. 
Was that who they're talking about, or did they talk about the guy, other guy in the room? Are you okay? Are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. Oh yeah, we didn't take a pills in here. My past to life has been denied. I haven't been... I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for... a mother to love me. My path to life has been denied. Oh. Yep. Yep. Okay, that was it. Yes. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Friend Bo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Oh no. And the doctor's office? We used to have a key in there. Come down, the key is not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up. But just, you must calm down. Yes, I'll break it up to you if I find it, alright? Bye. So, for some reason when we take the pills, she can't see me. So we need to put this key right here so she goes away. Somehow she can't see me, even though I have the pills. It's a little weird, so I know if I take the pills, I'll automatically be over here. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Alright, so the code uh, that we were given, it was... Okay, so December 17th, July f uh, 25th, I think that says. So, so this would be 2932, I think. I can't tell what the number is. I can't tell if it's 25, so 2932. Yep, correct. I knew it. I'm smart. Alright, let's go. <laughs> she's, just, she's just walking by like... Nope, nothing. She didn't turn her head at all, just saying. It would just be funny if she did. Oh god. Too little. I'll make you pay for it. Oh. 
one into them. Okay, we gotta stay right down here. Am I going the right way? Okay, I'm down. Oh shoot, dang it, don't tell me to go through there. I was literally, okay, I'm gonna skip past that because I was literally at the end. Okay, I'm gonna skip past this because I was literally right there. You guys saw it. At the end of the maze, you will find. But who's talking? No, I'm not. The evil creatures of the evil critters of the night. I'll well, just talk like that. If it's not talking, like no one's talking. They will hunt you. They will laugh. But there will always be a good side. <laughs> I can't full of nuts and bolts. Oh shoot, I dropped the image. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of this episode of Fred Bow. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, so I'm hoping you guys can't. Anyways, that's gonna be this episode of Fred Bow. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.